everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can see future videos that I put out. If you have a returning subscriber to my channel, thank you so much for coming again to watch another one of my videos. So last time we were really talking, we were talking about choosing your enclosure size for your snake. Well, now that you've possibly thought about your enclosure size, thought about your snake, and decided what you're going to need and purchase your enclosure, what are you going to put inside of it? So I guess that's what we're going to talk about today. I was asked to do a video on things that would go inside of an enclosure, so I decided I would go ahead and do that for that individual. When you first get your snake, of course, as I said in my quarantine video, you want to put your snake in a quarantine setup. Um, now, of course... If you have not watched that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll talk a lot about how you would go about doing that um, and what you need to do uh, to make that happen. And so check out that video. After quarantine is all done, you're going to want to have a nice setup for it all ready to go for your new snake. So what does that look like? Let's start from the ground up. First thing you want to think about is your substrate or what you're going to have on the ground of your enclosures. Now some people choose to stick with paper, whether that be newspaper, whether that be some type of construction paper, or one of these other very fancy papers that have been put out there specifically for snakes. Um, whatever your choice in paper, some people choose to do that. Um, I personally do not like paper um, because I like to do a lot of decor with my enclosures and when you do paper, um, you literally have to remove the entire piece of paper. Uh, to do a clean whenever a mess is made, thus meaning everything has to come out, thus meaning a whole lot of extra stuff that doesn't have to happen if you have a substrate. Um, so I personally don't like paper because of that. So now there are various different substrates that you can think about and there's going to be many people who have many opinions about which substrate is better. It is really up to you to try out the various different substrates there are available. Um, I will say that when it comes to snakes that require little to no humidity, I think Aspen is the best substrate for those particular snakes um, solely because they don't, like I said, they don't require a lot of humidity and anything that does require quite a bit of humidity, I I would hesitate to use uh, Aspen uh, because of the fact that Aspen can mold in high humidity. So, um, you know, I would steer clear of Aspen when it came to anything that required higher levels of humidity. But there are also various other substrates out there for those enclosures that do need high levels of humidity. I mean, so many different options. What are you doing? <laughs> so, you know, there are cocoa fibers. There are various different soils out there that are recommended. There are cocoa barks. I'm not a big fan of the bark, but there are a lot of people who do use the bark. Um, so really just, just look out there and look at the different ones and try the different ones because you never know uh, what you're going to like until you try it. Um, so really just do some research on the various different substrates there are and just choose one try it if you don't like it try another one it never hurts um, it's all about growth in this you know in this thing you'll always be changing something that you're doing with your snake so if that means the substrate then so be it you know so you'll want to choose whatever substrate you're going to need next thing you're going to think about is you're going to need two at least two hides in your enclosure your snake is going to need a hide on your warm side as well as a hide on your cool side i'm not going to go into the heating on this video i'm actually going to make a whole nother video about it um but so you're going to need one on your cool side as well as your hot side um just so your snakes can be, feel secure on whatever wherever they need to be um if they need to be warm they can be secure on the warm side and if they need to be cool they can be secure on the cool side as well you will notice that in some of my enclosures for those who are more of my advanced climbers is what i call them like my carpet python and my retic um and even like one of my bows this guy here he likes to stay out in the open sometimes but he also likes a hide to be uh, to be available so he does have one hide of it in his enclosure but when he does want to be out he usually is perched out right out in the open on top of the hide or just out and away from any hide anyway so he has just the one hide in his enclosure but things like Antiope and my carpet python Shere Khan they do not have a hide hide in that sense you can see that I use things like these racks to provide a sense of a hide for some of my snakes um, but also for the most part these guys usually like to just lounge out in the open I have provided them hides it's always suggested that you should provide at least attempt to provide your snakes to hide you can get to learn your snake and learn what your snakes need and what they don't need I've learned that some of my snakes do not require 
nor want the hides and so they do not have them but i do provide them a sense of security uh kind of like i have here in luna's enclosure where she doesn't really have hides because she does like to be out in the open but she does like to have a sense of security so that's just some things you need to think about when you're you're having your snake you need to learn for your learn from your snake and really just fill your snake out but definitely just go ahead and have hides ready to provide for them right off the bat and if you learn and realize that your snake is not one that wants or desires a hide then you know what then you can dispose of it and redo your enclosure to fit um, and make them feel secure at the same time also what you'll need in your enclosure uh, is something for your snakes to climb on I like to make sure that my snakes are engaged even those that are more terrestrial I like to provide them um, with space to climb if they would like to meaning climbing branches there are Various name brand products you can find, but those tend to be super expensive. But I mean, I guess if that's something that you can afford to do, go ahead. You will see in my enclosures, I actually just have gathered sticks from outside. I sterilize them, which I will do another video on that as well. Um, and now I have them in my enclosures. You can also see uh, I have these racks in here, which also add another climbing element to the enclosures as well as supports the sticks in the enclosures. Even if you have a snake that isn't necessarily a super big climber like at all, I would still include things inside the enclosure to give your snakes some sort of enrichment while they are inside of their homes because they do spend a mass majority of their time inside of these places, I mean inside of these enclosures. And so in order for them to continue to have long, long and healthy and happy and active lives, we need to provide them some type of stimulation inside of their enclosures just as well as we provide them with stimulation outside of their enclosures. And last but not least, what you want to think about is a water bowl. You don't want to think about this. You absolutely need to have this because your snakes need to stay hydrated. Um, now, as you people wonder uh, what size water bowl that you need for your snakes, uh, I suggest getting a water bowl big enough for your snake to actually fully submerge itself in. Uh, now, this may not be a common thing that your snakes does, but when it comes time for shedding, it's something that they may want to do, and so you want to provide them the space to be able to do so. A water source is something that is definitely going to be necessary for most snakes. Now, of course, my uh, rosy boa, I do not keep a water bowl regularly inside of his enclosure because um, a lot of things that I read said that uh, they can easily get sick and regurgitate their food if they end up drinking too much water before or after having a meal. Um, uh, and so they, it's, it's suggested not to keep water bowls inside of their enclosure at all times, just to provide it for them every couple of days um, and then take it out. So I don't keep a water bowl in um, Cogsworth enclosure, but I do provide him with water every couple of days. All right, and that's pretty much it for things that you would need to decorate the inside of your enclosure and get it prepared for your um, reptile. You know, you really just make it nice, visually pleasing for yourself as well as your snake. And then you're all good when it comes to what you need. And, you know, you want, of course, monitor your humidity levels, monitor your heat, which, like I said, I am going to be doing a video on. If not tomorrow, then the day after that, I will definitely be doing that because I definitely want to cover the topic uh, since we're talking about getting our enclosures and our snakes ready and what they need to be safe and comfortable in your care. So I hope this video was helpful to you um, and anybody else who was interested in that topic and also the person who asked me in my comments of my last video, I believe, to actually talk about these things. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, and if you have any more questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I will see, do my very best to address every single question I got, whether that be in comment form or in video form. So this is TWR. I'm checking out of here. Rumple Stilskin here has been hanging out with us. He's checking out. You guys have a fantastic day. Love yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your reptiles. And you guys keep spreading those herbs.